So I get this question a lot. Okay, what works? People want me to just tell them what works. Is it digital? Is it traditional? Is it event and internal marketing? What should we be focusing on? And the truth is that all of it works. Pretty much everything that you could do works. The problem is how does it work? Do we understand what we should be expecting from these different investments? If you post a billboard, there is a different goal set for billboard marketing than there is for a Google ads campaign. They're not evaluated the same way. Some marketing methods are highly trackable, meaning you can say, I put in X dollars, I got out Y. Some marketing methods are not at all trackable. There are intangible benefits to things like what I call playing the long game or brand building and reputation building. So before you engage in any form of marketing, you need to step back. The question of does it work to a salesperson, it, it doesn't really mean anything. You have to be very specific with the goals that you set for each marketing initiative. In life, the key to success is to exceed the expectations that have been set. And in implant marketing, the key is get realistic expectations set, know how long it's going to take, what it's going to take from a financial investment perspective, and you wanna step just outside of your comfort zone. This does not mean that, you know, sometimes people will say, hey, when I train, it's like getting pushed into the deep end because I like people to learn by doing because that's how I learn. Um, there's a difference between getting pushed into the deep end, jumping into the deep end, or getting dropped from airplane into the middle of the ocean. And so you don't want to go so far outside of your comfort zone that you're afraid for your life because you're not going to be able to stick with that marketing method long enough to get results. So you need to be able to step just outside of your comfort zone when it comes to investing, especially in an implant marketing um, campaign and strategy. But if the minimum amount to play is, is like getting dropped into the deep end or dropped into the ocean, then you may not be ready for this type of marketing. Um, the other key, the last key to success that I'm going to talk about is ensuring your foundation is strong and persuasive. What does that mean? So if you're running ads, if you're running um, social media, educational events, or whatever it is that you're doing, when people land on your website, or they see your branding, or they see your practice name, is it strong? Is it persuasive? Is it giving them, is it giving their subconscious the triggers that you know what you're doing and you're the expert? There's a reason that implant centers spend millions on marketing. I'm not telling you to do that, but there's a reason that these, that national big chains um, dental chains and corporate dentistry, there's a reason why they have no problem throwing money at marketing because their foundation is strong and it's persuasive and it works.